Back in the 1920s, a gentleman named Frank Whittle developed the first jet engine. Now, over the last hundred years, jet engines have changed significantly, not the fundamental theory, but how engines are incorporated into the systems that make up aircraft today. There's a lot of reasons for that change. And in aviation maintenance, one of the things that caused us to really change how we look at the aviation maintenance management perspective was an accident that happened back in 1988 with Aloha Airlines. In this accident, an aircraft, a Boeing 737, was being utilized to jump between islands. So it was incorporating a lot of cycles on the aircraft, but not that many hours. This caused fatigue to accelerate on the structure of the aircraft a little more aggressively than we had planned. And because of that accelerated fatigue, there was a failure, and really the top of the aircraft came off during flight. Now luckily the aircraft was able to be recovered. Uh, but it really did change how we think about this concept of aviation maintenance and put a lot more emphasis on the managers that were involved in running a maintenance organization and how they ensure safety of those aircraft. Now the industry has changed significantly and here at Amy Riddle we're seeing those changes by more and more folks becoming involved in our formal education, our degree programs in Bachelor of Science in Aviation Maintenance and the Masters of Aviation Maintenance. This really reflects the change of the industry, how the industry is, is changing how, what they place as value onto their potential employees. And by the way, there's going to be a lot of those employees. Boeing is forecasting by 2035 over 679,000 new maintainers would join this industry. So if you're interested in one of those positions, if you're interested in learning more about these opportunities, please come over and join us for our free course, our massive open online course uh, that's focused on maintenance, repair, and overhaul. Hope you're able to join us.